Hello there everyone, so today is going to be a little bit more of a serious topic and that's talking about how much high school sucks, or school in general, how much that sucks. But it's something that we all have to go through and suffer through or enjoy, but for me, I, I guess I was kind of in the middle of liking it and also hating it, which I feel like is for most people. Silent you whore! So I'm pretty much going to be talking about stuff that I felt in high school and just to kind of like relate to you guys and let you know what what I feel about dealing with high school struggles. So let's get started. So we all know high school sucks besides the fact that you have to wake up early, be super tired, hungry, and go work. Uh, but there's a lot more than that that sucks. But a lot of it has to do with social stuff that happens at school. For example, um, if you feel as if like you don't necessarily fit in and you're not called like the popular person, there's a lot of pressure that comes with like wanting to fit in and feel cool. But it's really not that important after high school and you guys will eventually realize that. But for the meantime, like everyone wants to feel like they're cool and like, I don't know, no one wants to feel like they're the one left out. So, you know. My advice for that is just like, just know that your whole life is not limited to the people that are in your school. Like, you can move and go all around the world or the country or your state or your town. Um, like, you're not constricted to just those people the rest of your life. So I found my core friends once I moved out to LA and I found people that I really get along with and have a lot of stuff in common with. So once high school's over, you will be out and about. So yeah. High school also sucks because you have a lot of pressure to get good grades and get into a good college, which I know I put a lot of pressure on myself. But honestly, it's like it's good to get good grades, but don't feel like your whole world is resting on your shoulders and you need to get in like an amazing Ivy League school or something because you can still be really successful without going to an amazing school. Um, I didn't even go to college, but I'm not saying don't go to college, but I'm doing all right how I am. But you know, you don't have to always go the traditional route. And I know there's a lot of pressure probably from your family to do really well and get an amazing college, but just know that like your life is not gonna suck if you don't get into the best school possible. Um, I know I thought that when I didn't get into Emerson. I was like, my life is over. What will I do? But uh, the world didn't end and I moved on and uh, here I am making videos for you guys. <laughs> my biggest advice of like if you're struggling with what you want to do, like career-wise, like just do what you love and don't like go into like a major thinking like, oh, this is gonna make me a lot of money. Don't do that because you're gonna end up being miserable. Do something that you love and the money will come after. Um, because if you're really enjoying something, I feel like that's the most important thing with life is just have fun and enjoy it while you can because YOLO, you only live freaking once. Okay. So this was an issue for me in high school and that was the pressure to drink and do drugs and stuff like that. You know, there are going to be a lot of parties, but <sighs> I never went to any because one, they scared me and two, I was never invited. Um, there was just like this core group of people who would always have like house parties and stuff and that just really terrified me. I just, I didn't feel ready to delve into like drinking or smoking and I, Smoking has never interested me in the least bit ever. Um, whether that be smoking cigarettes or weed, it just, it's, it doesn't interest me at all. I always thought of it as a bad thing, and like people who did that were sinners, oh my gosh. So I just kept myself distant from that. And I found it actually pretty easy because I had like a group of friends who were also not into that. But if you are in a position where people like your friends are like trying it out or um, like, you want to like be cool in front of them, don't. Don't feel pressured to have to do those things to make yourself cool because you're really going to regret it and if you're not ready to like start drinking or don't, just don't smoke it ever, ever. Just don't do it, okay? I guess my main point is just don't um, don't do anything that you're not ready for. So yeah, that also goes into like doing sexual things, whether that be kissing or even having sex. like. 
I didn't have my first kiss till I was 20 years old, I think. I think that's what it was. Like, my first actual real kiss. So, I was so petrified of kissing someone. Like, I... I just didn't feel ready and I feel like if I had like forced myself to do it, it wouldn't have been that great. I mean, the first kisses are never that great, but regardless, I'm just letting you guys know, don't feel like you're behind the game or like you're super late to the party because there's plenty of time to be kissing and doing sexual stuff when you're older and it. I feel like a lot of teens put a lot of pressure on themselves to feel like they have to do it in high school like it has to be done now um, but really it doesn't and if your friends call you prude like whatever call them a fucking slut or something Ooh, excuse my language sir I'm getting all worked up huh <sighs> sluts these days okay and one of the last biggest pressures and sucky thing about high school is bullying now we all go through it I've gone through it I still will go through it sometimes um, but I don't really know if it's like worse for guys or girls in high school um, I, I, it's hard for me to tell. I know it was tough for me because guys bullied me for not being as masculine as them. So that's what I dealt with, um, just hanging out with girls and, um, being more feminine, which I'm totally accepted about myself now, and that's just how I am, and if you don't like it, we don't have to be friends. Um, but I, it made me petrified of guys in general. Like, I still have a tough time, like, making friends with guys because I feel like they're judging me for the way that I act or the way that I talk and all that stuff. And really, outside of high school, like, most guys that I meet are super nice and, like, accepting and friendly. So, um, I think high school boys are just different in the world. They suck. <laughs> and for girls, I'm sure there's a lot of pressures that come with that too, of just like, maybe your boobs aren't big enough? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, girls, I can't really help you with that stuff. I can only help um, people who are in my position. Girls, think, think. What do girls have pressures with? Um, probably guys pressuring them to do things. Um, girlfriends talking shit behind their backs. Um, that's just, that's just a way of life. If you accept the fact that, um, you know your friends are gonna talk shit. Just, just know that, okay? Everyone talks, um, that way you won't be so hurt <laughs> because, I mean, there are some people you can trust, but for the most part, people are not gonna keep your secrets. So if you know that, I feel like that will help you out. I know that's kind of, like, a negative way of thinking, but it's the truth. So, just accept it. <laughs> okay, well, I hope this video wasn't a total nastiness of a video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. My goodness. Um, and also, just wanted to remind you guys that I'm going to be on tour. Oh my gosh. Um, in January, I'm doing a screening tour of Storytellers where it'll be the entire series. And you guys will get to see episode 6 before the premiere date of the finale. So that's that's incentive, right? And you'll get to meet me. We'll have a QA and a um, and a bunch of really awesome stuff. So yeah, the link to that will be down below. See if I'm coming to your city and get tickets. Okay. May the odds be ever in your favor. Goodbye. It's, I know it's fun it's to chew on. Yeah, it's not what it's meant for. Cotton ball. Mm-hmm. Is it one of those um, things that you put makeup on?